Hi everyone, this is the Women's Health and Cardiovascular Disease team at Dr. Kearney's office. And we're here today to talk about how heart attacks are different between women and men. So first, let's talk about what a heart attack actually is. A heart attack, or myocardial infarction, is when there's damage to your heart from lack of blood flow. The lack of blood flow is generally from a blockage due to the buildup of plaque in your arteries in a process called atherosclerosis. So what contributes to atherosclerosis? Well, the process of atherosclerosis is driven by the buildup of LDL cholesterol, or bad cholesterol, in your blood vessels. There are numerous factors, including genetic and lifestyle factors, such as diet, weight, activity, as well as other medical conditions, like high blood pressure and diabetes, that contribute to increased atherosclerosis, and thus will increase your risk of heart attack. At the start of the video, I mentioned that we are going to be talking about how heart attack differs between men and women. Well, the list of traditional risk factors listed on the left side of the screen actually can impact women more severely. And that's not all. There are also new emerging risk factors that impact women specifically, and those are important to be aware of. So let's start off with one of the more traditional factors, diabetes. Research tells us that diabetic women are at a higher risk of myocardial infarction compared to diabetic men, and heart attacks also occur earlier in diabetic women compared to diabetic men. Similarly, there's a higher risk of myocardial infarction in women with hypertension compared to men with hypertension. There's also a generally higher prevalence of hypertension in women over the age of 60 than in the men of the same age, which puts women at a greater risk. The impact of obesity as a risk factor for myocardial infarction is also greater in women, and women smokers also have a higher risk of myocardial infarction and stroke compared to men who also smoke. When speaking about women's cardiovascular health, we should also explore pregnancy. Gestational hypertension, chronic hypertension, and preeclampsia are all different forms of hypertension that are specific to pregnant women and increase their risk for heart attacks. Just as diabetes is a traditional risk factor for heart attacks, pregnant women can experience gestational diabetes, which can also increase their risk. So let's now move on to how you can identify a heart attack and how that differs between men and women. While the classical symptoms of a heart attack, chest pain or an uncomfortable pressure, squeezing or fullness in the chest that lasts for a few minutes or more, or goes away and comes back, are experienced by both men and women. However, chest pains may not always be experienced with the onset of a heart attack, and symptoms may be subtler or misinterpreted, particularly in women. This is because women are more likely to experience less common symptoms, which may be confusing or vague. A heart attack in women can look like pain or discomfort in your neck, jaw, shoulder, upper back or abdomen, shortness of breath, pain in one or both arms, nausea or vomiting, sweating, lightheadedness or dizziness, unusual fatigue, fainting, or indigestion. Symptoms such as fainting, indigestion, or fatigue are much less likely to be present in men. As you saw, symptoms of a heart attack can manifest in ways that are not as obvious as you may expect. As a result, many women dismiss these symptoms. If you ever suspect that you are having a heart attack, call for emergency medical help immediately. Thankfully, there are many lifestyle changes you can make to reduce your risk of heart disease, such as quitting smoking, exercising regularly, maintaining a healthy weight and diet, and practicing mindfulness and stress management. Our clinic also offers many programs to help you achieve these goals, and you can learn more about it through our live Friday webinars as well as other videos on our channel. Lastly, and most importantly, if you are worried about any symptoms you may be experiencing, contact your healthcare provider. So thank you for listening. For more information, check out Dr. Kearney's YouTube channel, Twitter, or Instagram.